Carolyn Doobie here. I would like to start out today with a big thank you to Mary Beth Shaw over at Stencil Girl Products for inviting me to be a member of her creative team. I am honored and thrilled to be playing with stencils. If you've seen many of my videos or read my blog, you know how much I adore stencils, so I am truly honored. So I'm starting with a journal page from an old ledger that I've turned into a journal. The color that's on the page was done by cleaning off my brayer when I was using the jelly plate. This was a very random background, but it ended up creating these great spaces of color, like a grid or color blocks. So I've decided to kind of go with those. I've got a bunch of acrylic paint here. I've got uh, some of it's liquid tech, some of it's, uh, I think, folk art. Just an assortment of paints, because really what I was looking for is colors that would contrast with the ones that I have there. So I've got my paint that I'm squirting out here, and the brushes that I have there are some really inexpensive brushes I got at Michael's. They are a very thick brush, a uh, very hard brush, I guess. And what they're gonna allow me to do is kinda pounce the paint on. Now if I wanted to make a very neat and tidy impression with this, I would put just a little bit of paint on the brush, dab some of it off, and then make sure I pounce upright. But I have impatience issues, um, and you know, sometimes I just feel like kinda being extra messy. So for this one, I kinda dabbed off some of the paint but I'm really just kind of brushing it in there. If you want a really crisp, pristine image from the stencil, don't do it this way. Because by brushing it around like that, I'm actually getting a little bit of the paint underneath the stencil, so my lines are not gonna be as crisp, but I want that. I, I kind of am feeling messy today, so I don't want to be very precise. And on top of it, it means it gets to go a little bit faster when I get to make a mess. So it's a win-win for me. To stencil this way. So you can see that I've got a great impression, but it's not a perfect impression, and I didn't really want perfect, so it actually was perfect for me. The window stencil that I just used was by Pam Carricker. It's called the Window Ledger Stencil, and now I've pulled out the uh, Circle Play Stencil by Margaret Applin, and for this one, I'm not going to use the whole stencil. I'm just going to put it in part of it, because you know what? You don't have to use the entire stencil. And you can play with different colors in it. So I also have a very juicy, juicy paintbrush here. What that means is I'm going to have paint leaking under a little bit, running a little bit more. That was my goal here. So that's the look I wanted. If you don't want things to run underneath the stencil, just make sure you use a very dry brush. Stencil I've got here now is by uh, Terry Stegmiller and it is called Spinners. I'm just going to use part of it and I'm looking for something to give a little bit of contrast there to the purple that's underneath. So I am going with the blue. stencil that I'm using here is by uh, Daniela Wolf and I'm gonna turn the page to make it a little bit easier to get the paint to it since all the other colors are wet I have to be kind of careful what I'm doing or I'm gonna get a lot more paint smearing than I intended again because I want this to be of a messy feeling to it it's working out quite well for me because then I can just use a lot of paint on the paintbrush I know that there may be some leaking underneath the stencil and that's okay with me so now I've got a problem. You can see how shiny that paint is. It's really wet, and where I want to put the last stencil down, I can't do it without getting smearing that paint. I've got a bunch of paint left on the palette. I have stencils here in this whole blank page. So you know what? I'm just going to use up some of the paint and play and experiment on this side, because what else am I going to do with it? I don't want to waste the paint, and I've got everything here. The brushes are already dirty, so why not? So I'm just going to play around over here. So 
so the orange is dry enough for me for what I want to do. I'm going to be using the Maltese stencil by Michelle Ward and I just want to stay off of the really wet paint still since I do have that impatience issue. As I'm doing this, one of the things I did learn when I was doing my practice page or my play page on the other side is that the green, even though it was neon, was very translucent, more so than what I expected. Now at first I thought this was a mistake, but then I realized it's just an oops. It's something that I didn't expect, but it's not good or bad, it just is. And I will tell you, since I do know how this page turns out, I was really happy that it ended up being translucent because it took me in a different direction. I am going to fill in that last little spot using a little bit of the Maltese. And it was kind of interesting to make sure I didn't smear anything, but again, I didn't really want to wait, so I just didn't push down very hard on the purple. That way I could get my green there without hopefully smearing anything else. So my paint is nice and dry now, so I pulled out a bunch of my Prisma colored pencils, and I'm going to start doodling and drawing around the stencils. Clearly I'm not doing this with a lot of precision or um, sense of staying within the lines. So the pencil I've been using, the black one, is actually a Stabilo pencil. And this open space here, which I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, is perfect for me to put the word Stencil Girl, since I am celebrating being a part of the creative team. I am so excited about that. Um, now, the fact that I haven't been doing everything precisely and perfectly is perfect here because my L didn't quite exactly fit. But the fact that I'm going to make the circle a little bit bigger to fit my handwriting isn't going to be a problem with this art journal page. I think parts of this still need a little bit more, a few more layers, so I'm going to take a white Prismacolor pencil and just go over some of the areas. So the perfect title to me for this page was Joy because that's what I'm feeling right now. By putting a title there that I've die cut um, in black paper with my Sizzik dies, it allows me also some room to do some journaling because I like to get my thoughts and feelings written on the page too. So everything's looking really good to me except for that black paper. It was just too pristine and perfect. So that's where the colored pencils, I'm just going to layer those on there to have those letters match the feeling of the rest of the page. So now it's your turn to play. Grab a stencil and have some fun. I have links and pictures of the project over on my blog at acolorfuljourney.com.